Hi YouTube viewers, welcome back to my next video on VHDL language. So I am Manohar, I am teaching you about CD4040 IC. So this is the basic diagram. If you have not gone through my other videos also, please go through it. First video I have told you about the explanation. Next video I have told you about the JK Piptop which I have implemented for this CD4040. And next I have some other modules also which I have implemented here. In this everything will be covered and overall top module will be discussed okay so as usual you have seen this thing this is an and gate not gate this is a smith trigger not gate smith 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 trigger inverter if you search search in google smith trigger inverter then you will be finding this kind of diagram okay normal inverter it is it is a smith trigger in inverter so that is the difference between these two, two things and remaining all things remain same constant let us have a look in the code so this is the overall code I have implemented other two modules I have told you this is the NOT gate and this is the AND gate so basically let us see NOT gate implementation just A and B are there and we have this thing uh, similarly AND gate I am not bluffing you you can able to see NOT underscore gate AND NOT underscore gate so okay so you can see in my code I will be writing those things NOT underscore gate AND underscore gate and for JK flip-flop as usual we have written, we have taken JK underscore flip flop FF. So that is the thing I have taken. Okay. This is, this is a continuous video. Don't say that no, you are telling something and you, you were doing something. So it is open. I openly I am doing everything. So basically it is a shift register where once will be shifted to right. Other thing happening in this IC. As usual I have tested. That's the reason I can able to see. So basically let us see the coding part. I have clock because why I have clock, this is the clock, first clock and I have reset, so this is the reset and remaining pins, all our pins are, are 12 pins, there are 12 bit shift registers, so 12 pins will be your output. So basically I have used not get, so component, not get, and get, basically and get, and this JK flip-flop I have used, so JK flip-flop component. So basically these are the intermediate signals, one thing to understand, say this is the direct input and here you, you require a delay, so it takes some time and you have, you will be getting your output. So I have used your buffer. That's the only thing for the clock I have taken a buffer. Okay. You will be asking again. Then these are the intermediate signals and that buffer I have given to, again I have given to clock. Right. So first you can able to see not get, this not get, I have given reset as my input. Let us make it top and let us have a look clearly. Okay. All flip flops. Let us cover it. Okay. So you can able to see first reset I have given as my input and I have got my output as N0. This N0 is given to an AND gate, N0 is given to an AND gate and a clock is given. So those outputs I have got here as A1, AND gate we get A1 and for this inverter I have taken N0, the previous input, I have given as a N4 and this was your A1 and A1 is given to N1 and N1 is given to N2, N2 is given to N3. So N, these are the inverters which I have implemented. From here N3 we have got, we have given N3 as this and this was N2 is given to JK flip-flop. Let us see N3 and N2 as given as a JK flip-flop. Why I have used N4 here as reset because this is the N4. This is the second inverter output, this is the N4, second inverter output I have taken and given to it reset. So similarly we get Q1 and Q1, uh, QPBR1 which is given again as an input and again taken as output again input and output those things have been given here and next at last but not least we have given an inverters so basically those QB bar QB bar QB bar 1, 2, 3 everything which we have got here is given to an inverter not gate and we have got their output respective output let us simulate it have, anyhow I have simulated it but for your sake I have to simulate it again anyhow I have checked the syntax it's all true so you can able to see that simulation is custom successfully done we have got uh, our simulation tab so let us give force clock 1 0 and your 100 let us make reset as 1 basically and run it so that's the thing we have got let us make reset as 0 first constant and let us verify so we have got total 1 let us check it down clearly right so basically see at first it was 0 before it was 1 then as soon as we make reset it got 0 then 1 is shifting 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 so you can able to see all the ones have been shifted and at last we got 1 1 so that's all for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i hope you have got your result also fine thank you for watching this video have a nice day for any queries or for any new IC designs, please comment below. I will be very... Thank you.